In the light of Sarah Everett's death, there's been a huge demand for women's rights organisations for the general public to take crime against women seriously, especially when it comes to crimes centred around sexual assault or harassment or abuse. In other words, women have become fed up and want their voices to be heard after years of dismissive behaviour or trying to criminalise the victim. Now, because a small, minute group of people, men are being labelled as insensitive or potential predators or misogynistic because of guys like PC Oliver Banfield, who assaulted a woman on her way home. This guy is a currently serving police officer whom is meant to have an overwhelming sense of justice. So what does it say about your character when an off-duty police officer becomes drunk and belligerent and decides that he's going to put a complete stranger in a headlock and then use the training techniques he was taught from the police force and use it to put a woman to the floor and then pin her down when all she was doing was walking home at night by herself? So, PC Oliver Banfield currently serves in the West Midlands Police Force and at an early hearing in January, he did plead guilty to assault by beating. However, he was spared to jail, despite the offence coming under Section 19 and could carry a maximum prison sentence of six months. Instead of making an example out of the police officer and the person who abused his position and attacked a complete stranger because he had won too many drinks after a night out, the police force and the court system thought a curfew and a compensation and cost order was sufficient enough. Again, the police officer was handed a curfew and ordered to pay compensation now, what type of punishment is a curfew order when you are currently in the midst of a pandemic and in a current lockdown? That's like telling a child you're grounded from the moment you go to sleep to the moment you wake up. It doesn't make no sense and it does not serve a purpose. The courts also said the curfew will run for 14 weeks and if banned, PC Oliver Banfield from leaving his house between the hours of 7pm and 7am. The courts also said the compensation fee was £500 and the court cost totaled £180. To make matters even more conflicting, the police officer's solicitor stated during a court hearing that the police officer should not be subjected to a community service order because, and I quote, it would be difficult for him to work with criminals. So, in retrospect, because the West Midlands police officer committed a crime and he pled guilty at the earliest opportunity, then he shouldn't be held accountable for his actions. If anything, if you work in a position where you have an obligation to protect the public and have a moral compass that is supposed to be unwavering, then you should be held accountable even more so. It's not good enough to commit a crime and then tell the judge I can't do community service because it would be hard to work with criminals. Case in point, you are a criminal too. Also, how does that make the victim feel? That's a slap in the face to any woman or any man for that matter that's been assaulted by someone with a position and a power of authority. The victim, Miss Homer, says she was verbally abused with misogynistic slang, grabbed by her neck and forced to the floor on a dark road by a drunk man a foot taller than herself. She went on to also say that the whole ordeal had shaken her belief system to the core when she found out the guy was a police officer. She said the whole ordeal was made that much worse again when the police decided to be slow with their response. The judge overseeing the case did comment on the attitude of PC Banfield by saying, PC Banfield demonstrated his hostility to the victim based on her sex by repeatedly calling her a S-word, which you can imagine what that stands for. The judge also added the officer had abused his power and described his misogynistic abuse as an aggravating factor but he did decline to impose a community penalty order and instead ordered Banfield to observe a curfew. And to make matters worse again, it wasn't until the case got traction and Labour MP Harriet Harman decided to comment on the case by saying the system fails women. The Crown Court Prosecution Services even refused to prosecute the officer despite CCTV footage clearly showing the assault by beating. But they changed their mind when the Women's Justice Centre intervened. And now that the sentencing has concluded, a misconduct investigation is underway. 
which has taken long enough because, for the first point, it seems like the police just want to save face because of all the backlash that they're getting. Safe. 